finally, after years of the world begging and pleading, we're finally getting the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana and Linux. Sponsored by Linode. Hey everyone, how are you all doing? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crazy Ken, and yes, Hannah Montana Linux. This is a real thing. And we're gonna do an installation sensation today. Now some of you are probably thinking, Ken, didn't you do this OS already? Answer, yes, I did. Many years ago, I would love to revisit it because it's fun, obscure, and just kind of weird. Also, I was inspired by my buddy, Michael MJD, because he recently did some episodes about some let's just say unusual Linux distros. So let's take a look at the website, hannahmontana.sf.com. Wow, just look at all that pink. I think it's kind of fun how they put like a Linux style icon loading bar at the bottom as the nav bar. That's kind of cool, I'll give you some points for that. And there's a song apparently on this website. And while looking through the website some more, I found some miscellaneous links. Miley Cyrus, hmm, who's that? Anyway, let's click it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we can't show that on TV. So, with that aside, let's go ahead and download this revolutionary operating system. Oh, doesn't work anymore. Good thing the internet archive is a thing. All right, now that we have the ISO, let's install this revolutionary piece of software. And I'm gonna be using VMware Fusion 12 to do this. This is the player version, which basically means it's the free version. And the cool thing is, this comes with a zero day free trial. Thanks for that, lads. Let's power it up and go into the live CD environment. We'll test drive it a bit before we actually run the installation. So we'll do English because I can't read most of these other words. And we're gonna do try Hannah Montana Linux without any change to your computer. And oh my gosh, what's with the, the pink and like the bright green? That is not really easy on the eyes. I don't know who picked that color scheme, but that kind of just makes it better. <laughs> That's right. That. A nice loading bar. I feel like it just wants to be centered better. Or maybe that's artistic expression. I don't know. Hey, we got Tux. We got like the loading icons here and we have Hannah Montana. You ever notice that she looks like Miley Cyrus? That's interesting. Has anyone ever talked about that before? Tux is just over there like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? Why did I get a tattoo of Hannah Montana on my chest? And we're in the live environment. Okay. Got a little startup sound there, isn't that nice? So, we have our desktop folder. This looks like the plasma icon. We have a sort of a, it's called a system tray in Windows. I'm not sure what it's called here. They're probably using some panel to do this. Uh, looks like we have a menu over here as well. The kickoff application launcher. That's what they're using there apparently. So, yeah, we're, we're getting a little bit of control issues and not full resolution because we need to install some drivers, but we can't really do that in the live environment. We need to get everything installed first. Theme, Hannah Montana, yes. I think that is very clearly communicated. Yeah, we have system settings, search, applications, recently used, and our favorites with our nice star and Hannah Montana Linux logo on there. And I'm getting some white flicker. Not sure what's causing that. Gonna have to investigate. So I know I can run the installation right from here, but I would actually prefer just to boot into that mo Oh gosh, lots of pink. I, I just prefer to boot into that mode. So let's shut her down. Leave. <laughs> we'll scroll down to shut down. Oh my gosh, dude, that moon. <laughs> Just a nice stretched picture of the moon. Why not? Turn off computer. Ooh. We get a little bit of shutdown music too. How nice. Abort active sessions. Am I crazy? Shouldn't it know how to do that automatically? Da. what do I know? Let's just hit okay. Don't. Oh. Okay. It beeped at me. Did I make it mad? <laughs> Please remove the disk, press enter to continue while we're just gonna go back into the disk. Oh, will now halt. Unable to iterate IDO. Well, it shut down, I guess that's what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna play it up again and just boot into the installer. Test memory, actually, let's do that. I, I don't really know what it's doing. Pentium 2, wait a minute. Is the virtual machine software emulating a Pentium 2? Uh, but this memmap has an STD, be careful there. Okay, I'm gonna reboot. I, I think it's good. I think the numbers were indicating a good thing. So we're gonna do install Hannah Montana Linux. 
All right, there's our amazing loading bar once again. Did you guys actually watch the Hannah Montana show? Like, I never really got into it. I, I tried watching it back on Disney when I was when I was a kid, but like, I don't know, I just couldn't really get into it. Zach and Cody was my jam. Chicago, can I press C? Yes, I can. What, Caracas? What? Okay, so prepare disk space. Because this is virtualized, we don't really risk breaking any other partitions or anything, so we can just tell it to use the entire disk. And it looks like this Linux distro is actually Kubuntu 904. So that lines up with the 2009 thing. 904 would be an April 2009 release. And now we get to type in our information. Who am I? I am Crazy Ken. Oh no, do we need a password? Oh, come on. I don't really want a password. I'm not protecting government property with this thing. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Cybersecurity PSA. Don't do that in real life. You entered a password that consists of less than eight characters, which is considered too weak. <laughs> you should choose a stronger password. Let's just take continue. I really don't give a crap. <laughs> we are copying files, 69. Nice. Less than a minute remaining, creating user. It should go pretty fast. I can't imagine Hannah Montana Linux is a very demanding operating system, and it's all on an SSD, so it should be lightning quick. Until you get to this part, and it just sticks at 82%. We don't need all of apt, right? <laughs> I don't even really know what that is. So once we get this installed, I'm gonna attempt to install VMware tools. VMware tools are the drivers that allow the OS to operate better. I don't know, I'm guessing the drivers are pretty new and this OS is really old. Hopefully there's some sort of backward compatibility there. Oh, hey, 87%. Okay, ooh, we're moving now. Ooh, baby, we're almost at 100%. Oh, yeah. Can I make this window bigger? Oh my gosh, I can. Wow, this is really impractical. I can shade the window? Oh, I can shade the window. Look at that. All right, restart now, R. Let's do it. Oh, there's another handy beep there. That beep just lets you know that everything's okay. Enter to continue. There's our nice zen music. There's no icon that says install, so we are actually in the OS itself and not the live environment. So now, what I'm gonna attempt to do to make this work better is install the VMware tools. So let's uh, cross our fingers here. VMware tools, open with dolphin. Oh God, what'd you do to dolphin, guys? It's such a purple dolphin. I'm guessing we need to extract the, oh geez. Thanks for, thanks for the generous file browser here. Yeah, I can just see my whole tree so easily. <laughs> oh. Can I not resize this one? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is a, this is really a piece of crap. We're gonna extract the, what I'm assuming are the installation files to the desktop here and hit okay. Okay, so now we just have to run this. I think I just do this and then please rerun this for, oh, okay, execution aborted. Okay, so we'll go, there's probably an easier way to do this, but I'll just do sudo there, put in the directory and, oh, wait. The Ubuntu version detected, oh man, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. It's one year too old. It needs to be 1004 or newer to install the VMware tools. Oh boy. All right, everybody, remain calm. It wouldn't be unscripted tech shenanigans if there weren't problems. So I'm gonna try VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and run the Oracle VM VirtualBox installer. System extension blocked. Oh no, whatever will we do? So I'm gonna authenticate this here. And then that will allow me to go here where it says Oracle America. I'm just gonna say allow. I gotta restart the system. You remember when Apple made fun of Windows Vista for all the cancel and allow stuff? Yeah, not so funny now, is it, fruit boys? You are coming to a sad realization, cancel or allow. Allow. And reboot. I have the system reinstalled inside of VirtualBox, and we're gonna open up the guest editions CD. This is like the VirtualBox equivalent of VMware tools, and hopefully it works. Oh wait, that's an EXE file. Oh, <laughs> I'm dumb, exe files are Windows things. You know, I can probably just do this stuff in the terminal a little more easily. It's bouncing up and down, having a good time. At least someone's having a good time. Boy, wonder what that feels like. Console is supposed to be opening here. I actually kind of like this blue glow going on with the theme here, that's cool. But uh, yeah, it's not, um... <laughs> it's not opening. Where, where is it? It's in the panel. Okay, now it's closed. Try rebooting. All right, the cliche, turn it off and turn it back on again thing doesn't seem to fail, at least not often. So we're gonna type in sudo to elevate the privileges here. And I'm just gonna drag this run file into here. Hopefully that's it. Okay, it looks like it's actually doing something. Okay, I can't tell if it actually like did anything. It looks like it's done, but <laughs> uh, did it succeed? Okay, I guess uh, we're good. All right, well, I'm just gonna give it one reboot for good measure here. Plus we get to listen to that awesome sound. 
again. Ah, listen to that. Okay, it's booting up. And that time we got all the icons, fantastic. So yeah, we're now running at full resolution, not with Retina because that would make everything really small and I don't think this older system is gonna know how to scale. And I'm not 100% sure if the all the additions really did function properly because some of the graphics performance is just a little laggy, but I don't know if that's a huge deal for now. Uh, the main thing I wanted was the higher resolution and the network. Let's just make sure our network is working. We'll just go to the good old console and uh, We'll just ping thecomputerclan.com, why not? And yep, there's our ping, 50 milliseconds, so that means the network is working. With this old <laughs> operating system, I don't know if uh, any of the built-in web browsers are gonna be able to browse the web because of SSL and all that stuff, but let's try it. Oh boy, Google, I'm feeling lucky. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's do that for some fun. Conqueror, be free. All right, Computer Clan. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna fail the authenticity check. It's not gonna be able to go. Would you like to accept the certificate forever? Uh, sure. Continue anyway, forever. Continue, forever. Continue, forever. Con continue, forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it it's gonna have security problems with modern websites, but it tried to load. Well, it looks like I can get an older looking version of the website, so maybe if I Google Computer Clan. There we go! Look at that! It, it kind of works! I doubt this is gonna load, but let's try going to the Etsy store. Yeah, the operation couldn't work. Yeah, well, hey, by the way, I have an Etsy store. You can buy some goodies on there. But yeah, not with this older version of the web browser. We could probably upgrade it if we wanted to, but then we're not living the period experience. <laughs> let's test drive the system. Okay, so the theme is very purple, as we have noticed, and this wallpaper is absolutely amazing with these most likely procedurally generated clouds and tucks there. Looks like we have plasma running here, which gives us widgets. Here we go, add widgets. Okay, good. We can add a dictionary. We'll um, drag that out here. So now we can just <laughs> put a whole bunch of plasma widgets on the desktop here. Let's do a, a digital clock because we always gotta know what time it is. An RSS reader, even though I don't have any feeds to subscribe to, but let's just, uh, oh look, the Caden Life fundraiser is live. It looks like there's a default RSS feed in there. And yeah, the, the, the desktop's looking pretty good. We got some cool widgets going there. Tux isn't so lonely anymore. It looks like there's a couple different themes in here. We can try just oxygen. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. The blue gradient there and everything, good. We'll probably have to do some more customization to get all the pink out of there. But let's let's live up the pink and purple right now, just because that's part of the Hannah Montana genuine experience. Oh my gosh, there's different wallpapers in here. Okay, so it looks like there's air, which I think is the default that comes with this theme. I'm not 100% sure, but I've seen this wallpaper around before. And then we got the other one. We were we were using Hannah Montana Linux three. This is number one, which is basically like three, but with the Hannah Montana Linux or Hannah Montana logo there. <laughs> Number two, this one uh, just has the Hannah Montana Linux logo on a beautiful like 90s textured background there. Fantastic. And then this one actually has like Hannah Montana like right, <laughs> right, right there just staring into your soul as you use Linux. <laughs> um, last but not least, number five, where she is smiling. All right, well. That's a nice one. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to go back to this one. It's a little bit cleaner, and you got tux in there. I, everybody loves tux, right? Okay. While we're here, we might as well change a few more settings. Let's take a look at the menu. System settings, appearance. That is what I want. This looks like where we can change all the colors of everything. Let's try honeycomb. Ah, oh, that looks pretty nice. Wonton soup. Let's go to that honeycomb. That looked cool. Yeah, oxygen with honeycomb, that looks nice. You got some golden teal, yeah, yeah, looking good. Oh, I don't know if I really should do this because I don't know if it's gonna break stuff, but it, I clicked on this little gear here in the panel and it's like, do you want to do a full upgrade to the new distribution release of 14.04.6? <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna break any Hannah Montana Linux-ness though. That, maybe we'll save that for the end so if we screw up, it doesn't really matter. I, maybe that will be good, I don't know. Also, I just gotta say, I love how these tool tips look. They're just, they, they got their nice bevels, rounded corners, even like clicking to open a menu. Mm, it's got a certain je ne sais quoi about that, you know? So let's take a look at 
what applications are installed here. So we have our favorites. Let's go to applications. Desktop sharing, feed reader, instant messenger, which is Copete. I, oh gosh, I, 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 I don't know. We have Quassel IRC client. Well, wow, that's interesting. Office applications. There's really like nothing on here. Not even like, like LibreOffice or anything. It's just like an organizer and address manager application. And utilities. We have advanced text editor. Ooh, this isn't just a text editor. This is an advanced text editor. There's K package kit on here. I see a search bar, which is really tiny for some reason. <laughs> search, uh, Abby Word, do you search? Oh, you can, you actually can search things. It is actually searching repositories. So, and let's install that. Dependencies, I didn't read the whole list, but I'm guessing uh, it knows what it's doing, right? Computers are smart. The package download, please check your net. <laughs> Oh, there we go. The package failed to download. Please check your network connectivity. See, we are on a network, but I'm guessing these repositories are like, however they're programmed, they're linking to old locations and I just can't pull them up at all. Actually, you know, I'm thinking, I wonder if doing that upgrade will make it easier to download applications. I'm gonna run that installation, see what it does. But before we do that, and potentially destroy the system. We gotta play with X eyes, right? We gotta play with some good old X applications. So let's go to the terminal and open up X eyes. Oh yeah, they're just gonna follow my cursor. And oh, I, there's no like window manager for them, so I can't move it. Oh, there we go. It's uh, the option key. And there we go. We got him over Tux's face. So now he looks great. It looks like he's wearing some big glasses. Look at that smart guy. He's just following my mouse cursor. See, now when I ran X-Clock, it actually is inside of a, what looks like just KDE. It actually gives it a, a window decoration and everything, but x -Eyes did not seem to do that. So we'll just run x -Eyes and X-Clock over there while we go ahead and experiment with this thing. Let's do an upgrade to 1406. Trusty Tar, Tar, Trusty Tar. Is that how you pronounce that? Let's upgrade it and see what breaks and what doesn't break. Uh-oh, a fatal error occurred. The application KDE pseudo crashed and caused the signal. 11. Oh no. Well, hey, I didn't think that was gonna work earlier anyway, but you know what? I'm totally fine with preserving this amazing 2009 system right here. I mean, just look at this. It does not get better than this aesthetic. You know, this operating system really is the best of both worlds. I think we can all agree on that. So let's go ahead and shut her down and enjoy that awesome sound again with that stretched moon picture. It's always so artistic. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. We'll now halt. So, we talked about Linux today, and we talked about Hannah Montana. But do you know what really gives you the best of both worlds? Having 24-7 support and great Linux infrastructure for Linux cloud computing solutions. And that's what Linode is all about. They're all Linux-based. I say it all the time, if it runs on Linux, it runs on Linode. So if you have an application or a website that you need to scale and deploy, Linode has that infrastructure and 24 seven support you need. Linode offers out of box apps for game servers like TF2, CSGO, and even Minecraft. You can run your own virtual private network with OpenVPN, build an online application with Joomla's content management system. There's so much you can do with Linode's affordable Linux virtual machines. And to boot, they offer award-winning 24-7 technical support. Visit linode.com slash computerclan and click one of the sign-up buttons, and we'll give you a 60-day $100 credit just for watching this episode. And when you do that, you're also supporting the Computer Clan, so thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed Hannah Montana Linux. Give it a shot and let me know what you think. And feel free to subscribe for more tech episodes coming out. I love making episodes about rare and retro tech, new tech, and of course, scam tech. And hey, if you like this episode, you know what to do. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Catch the crazy and pass it on. Wait, Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana are the same person?